लड़के भी उतना उससे ज्यादा जिम्मेदार है रेप के लिए ये लड़के हैं उससे ज्यादा we have the best culture in our culture there is no place for a woman recently a foreign female youtuber uploaded a video detailing the sexual harassment she faced while she was here holidaying in india so in this video you're going to hear her story straight from her i'm going to take you inside the minds of these guys who have these really backwards mentalities and then i'm going to give you some tips so you can stay safe while you're traveling here in india let's get into it and let's hear the story straight from jordan About two months ago, I got to India. We were wrapping up our trip, and that's when all these things just started um, happening. Men reached out and grabbed me, were touching me, groping me. Um, this one guy walking by kind of leaned like his face was right here, uh, and he just said to me, I want to f you right into my face with Livia right next to me. I had a five star hotel give out my personal information my full name my room number to a stalker i really want to say these things are uncommon but unfortunately with all the experience i've had here meeting female tourists and just meeting females indian females in general they all have a story like this you know some of them aren't as bad as this some of them are worse i've witnessed this firsthand as well so i was on the delhi metro and a guy just grabbed my friend's ass And then another time we were just walking down a road in South Delhi by by Lodi Garden and this guy just walks past and rubs his elbow across my friend's chest. I met a girl from Thailand who had just been to Amritsar and this guy started stalking her along the streets there. He wouldn't stop following her. So she decided to run into a bathroom and she thought she would be safe there in a female bathroom. But this guy comes in and starts banging on her cubicle door and asking for money. He was trying to scare her to pay him. So she had to she was like so scared sitting in this bathroom cubicle right so she just slid a bunch of money under the door and and luckily he left. So yeah, there these stories do not end unfortunately. And that goes for local women too. This is not a foreign woman problem. This is a a woman problem in general here in India. And it's not all men. Don't think all men I like that there's certainly not it's a it's a small percentage of men who have these backwards mentalities which we'll get into soon. Livy and I checked into a just normal hotel. It was about $10 a night, so it's not like a nice hotel or anything. This is the first alarm bell for me. She's staying in a 500 rupee hotel, which is as cheap as you can get in Delhi, and she's staying in Pahar Ganj. And Pahar Ganj is hell on earth. I can't describe it. any better than that i hate the place you walk down the road you'll see drug addicts shooting up needles into their arms it's 200 meters from the human trafficking and prostitution area of delhi gb road which you do not want to go down in under any circumstances especially at night so she's so close to all these things drugs prostitution and human trafficking and yeah unfortunately a lot of foreigners choose to stay in pahar ganj because there's a lot of cheap hotels there but It's the worst place you can stay in all of Delhi. Please people go stay in the residential areas where normal Indians are. Go stay in South Delhi. Go stay and pay a bit more for a hotel because when you pay 500 rupees or $10 American for a hotel, the quality you're going to get is terrible, but what's more important, the staff you're going to get are terrible. So the staff in these cheap hotels tend to be uneducated boys. from outside of Delhi from from small areas they have no education and they have and they come with these backwards mentalities unfortunately do not stay in 500 rupee hotels if you're a girl okay anyway at this point she was with her boyfriend and now just wait to see what happens when her boyfriend leaves the hotel and they knew that i was now in um this hotel alone from that very morning they started acting completely different to me. At one point they even one of them even followed me up the stairs. They called the room and they just said into the phone, "Hey baby." And I hung up and they called the room again and just silent not saying anything and um it was just kind of creepy. The next day, um they called my room and I pick up the phone and they were making sexual noises breathing. Okay, so let me give you some insight into the minds of these guys. 
These guys are from a patriarchal system where they see women as an object. And I'm not talking about all Indian men, okay? I'm talking about a small percentage of Indian men, these backwards types of guys. And so to scare a girl on the phone like that, to grope a girl, to pass rude comments to a girl, this makes these guys feel really powerful. It makes them feel like real men, right? Which is total rubbish. But for them, this is a form of entertainment. They get off on this, they enjoy this. And part of it also is that here in India, couples that aren't married aren't respected as much. So these guys have seen her with her boyfriend and they're thinking, oh, she's going around doing immoral things with this guy, then why won't she do immoral things with me? That's their thinking. They, they think she's a bad girl and she's doing bad and immoral things. It's totally crazy, right? In this next clip, you're gonna see right inside the minds of these guys. One of the guys is a rapist and the other two are his lawyers. And that rapist is responsible for the Jyoti Singh rapes in 2012, which shook India. ताली कभी एक हाथ से नहीं बजती, दोनों हाथों से बजती है। ये चीज देखी जाए। अगर कोई शरीफ लड़की होती है रात को नौ बजे, मतलब नहीं घूमती है। लड़के भी उतने उससे ज़्यादा ज़िम्मेदार हैं रेप के लिए, ये लड़के हैं, उससे ज़्यादा। बराबर नहीं है लड़की लड़का। लड़कियों के लिए बनाया गया घर काम काज अपना घर बार देखे ये जो ना रात में डिस्को में घूम रही है बारों में घूम रही है तो आपको 10 पर 20 20 परसेंट ये जो सही मिलेंगे। In our society, we never allow our girl to come out from the house after 6:30 or 7:30 or 8:30 in the evening with any unknown person. Women's means I immediately put the sex in his eyes. We have the best culture. In our culture, there is no place for a woman. She should not go in night hours with her boyfriend. यदि मेरी बेटी या मेरी बहन शादी से पूर्व संबंधों को प्राथमिकता दे या शादी से पूर्व अपने चाल चरित्र और चेहरे को खराब करे और अपने चरित्र हिंता पर जा रहे तो मैं ऐसी बहन और बेटी को निश्चित तौर पर अपने फार्म हाउस में खड़ा करके अपने परिवार सभी परिवार वालों के सामने पेट्रोल डाल के उसमें आग लगा देने की हिम्मत रखता हूँ जज्बा रखता हूँ दिस इज माई स्टैंड आई एम स्टिल टू डे स्टैंड ऑन दैट रिप्लाई देर नथिंग मोर आई कैन एड टू दैट दो एक्सप्लेन perfectly and this is what India is dealing with these kinds of mentalities. I was in my room and one of the guys knocked on the door and said hello open your door and I thought no I'm not opening my door. He came back about an hour later and he banged something really hard against the door. I don't know what but it made such a loud sound and startled me and he said, ma'am, ma'am, open your door right now. Trust your gut. And that's exactly what Jordan did. She didn't let them in when they're telling all these lies to try and get in her room. This is like a horror movie. And to be honest, it's really hard to understand the feelings that she would be going through at this point, locked in this hotel room in Delhi with these guys trying to get in. Until you're in that situation, you don't know. You know, it's easy for us to criticize her or to say other things. Why don't you do that? Why don't you do this? But until you're in a situation, and if you don't have experience in what to do, you don't know what to do. I knew that he had just turned off my AC. Immediately, he knocks at my door and says, um, hello, the AC is broken. We need to come in and fix the AC. Open the door and I will come in and fix your AC. And I just said, no, I'm not answering the door. Then they shut off the Wi-Fi. Um, and said the same story. They need to come in and fix the Wi-Fi. He kept telling me, open the door, let us in. I just felt so certain that if I did open the door, then because they were so desperately trying with lies to get into my room and to get me to open the door, I did feel very certain that if I did, then something very bad would happen. I say this in my India survival guide, which helps people travel safely and confidently in India. You have to be assertive and aggressive here in India. In India, strength respects strength only. Every day here it's a fight to do whatever you need to do, you know? So these guys only respect strength. If you look weak, if you give off weak signals, people will prey on you. These guys will prey on you. They'll think you're weak. 
So, in this case, Jordan should have kicked up a fuss as soon as she got that phone call. She should have started blasting them on the phone. You know, what are you doing? Don't do this. I'm leaving. And she should have left. She should have got out of there straight away from that first weird phone call, you know? But it's easy for us to say this after the fact, you know, in hindsight, yeah. But Jordan's probably never experienced this type of harassment before. So yeah, you can't criticize her, you can't judge her. She has no experience in dealing with these types of situations. And that's one thing that I hope to change. I want to empower foreigners to be able to deal with this kind of stuff and just enjoy India, because India is an amazing and a beautiful country and I think it's the greatest country in the world, especially for traveling. You just need to be a little bit prepared, okay? Obviously, I'm a guy, but I've also come across this type of harassment as a man. It was really on the, on the lower side of things. It's more gay guys hitting on me and being too touchy. I had this one guy try to kiss me on the cheek. I had a guy rubbing my thigh. I had a guy come up to me and say, lollipop, lollipop, and uh, you know, what is it called? Knock me in my private parts, gently. And yeah, it's creepy, but this gets me to my point. Don't be overly friendly, that was my problem. I'm really friendly, I'll chat to anybody. <laughs> you know, I'll say hello, I'll chat away, and I'll go have a coffee with them or whatever, but this is often taken as the wrong, the wrong signal. You know, if you're being too friendly, guys can take it the wrong way, as in you wanna sleep with them. That's what I've experienced. If you get into a problem like Jordan was in, you can call the Delhi police and they will happily come, pick you up from your room, blast the guys downstairs and file a police report against them. And you don't have to have a SIM to call the Delhi police. You can call an emergency number anywhere in the world from your smartphone. There's an emergency system on your phone which will connect to some cell phone network and, and connect you to the police. And actually, this kind of harassment, it happens everywhere in the world. So when you're traveling, especially as a solo female, which I know is totally unfair, you have to be extra prepared when you're traveling, especially alone. You know, even in, in this situation, in her situation in India, she wasn't alone, she was with her boyfriend, and she still had those terrible things happening to her. So you just have to be prepared. I really hope that I haven't scared you too much with this video. I want you to come to India, I want you to have a life-changing experience in India. I want you to love India, I want you to have a, a positive experience here, and you know, most tourists do. But you just have to take some precautions. You have to wisen up and get street smart before you come here, okay? Then you can love India like I do. And it turns out that Jordan's fears were totally legitimate. The police are investigating this hotel now and they have been closed. I wanna thank Jordan for telling her story and I've linked to the full video in the description and it goes on quite a lot more and you can even see the guys standing outside her door. It is creepy. But I wanna thank her because it is such a hard thing to do, to speak out like this, to tell your story to the whole world. It's really, really hard. And despite what happened to her in India, Jordan says she loved her time here and she wants to come back. So you guys go to her video, leave a comment, leave some love, and invite her back to incredible India. <laughs> I'm not going